Hi, I'm Ryan Nichol, CTO at DSA Ocean, and today I want to talk about setting up an anti-roll slosh tank in the Proteus DS Shipmo 3D toolset. What we're going to do is set up a slosh tank, do some analysis, and show how it affects and reduces uh, roll motions and overall ship motions. Just a note on the sample projects, uh, a Shipmo 3D toolset projects you can download off our website. They don't all have every single kind of feature uh, set up in them. Uh, so I do recommend you make a copy of the folder and, and and make an exploration of these functionalities. It's a little bit easier uh, and to avoid getting confused on you know what project has what configuration. So what I've done is I made a copy of the generic frigate project. I've called it generic frigate slosh tank that we're going to add a slosh tank to and go through the analysis process with. So we'll open up that project that I've made uh, here we are, generic frigate slosh tank. Now, everything is the same with a generic frigate project. Um, when you want to look at slosh tank behavior, there's two applications you need to look at, panel slosh tank and rad slosh tank. And then when you've done some analysis on that, you append it to the ship model in build ship. So there's two separate applications here, and it's very analogous to how you're going about and doing the uh, wave radiation effects on the ship hull itself. So there's the generic frigate and of course uh, you use a uh, uh, panel hull here to you know verify the mesh that you've got for the outer hull and you use rad diff to calculate the resulting uh, wave radiation and diffraction effects. Um, that is to say how it's you know affecting the waves around the outside of the hull. In a very similar way, we're going to make a mesh of the slosh tank and then model the fluid inside of it using similar kinds of techniques. Now I've already got that set up, but we can um, open the panel slosh tank um, that I've got configured here. So we have a length of the tank of 5 meters, width of the tank of 12 meters, height of the tank of 2 meters. You pick the fluid density, this is just fresh water of course, um, and then the fluid uh, above the tank baseline. So this is like how full is the tank. Um, there is some nuance to how to do this, um, uh, but you know, and, and it can change. What you want to do is set this so that it kind of lines up with the roll natural period of the ship. In any case, um, when you run this, and I mean you can take a look at it if you want, but the, the default settings um, are, are pretty good for, for modeling the effects of the slosh tank. Um, you know, that's pretty pretty basic, you know, kind of geometry that we have here. So the next step you want to do is take a look at rad slosh tank. So I've already got this pointing to um, the, the files we just made in panel slosh tank. Um, you do need to make sure you have enough frequency ranges that you cover all of the sloshing frequencies, which we'll see in a moment. And let's uh, run this analysis. Uh, it takes only a moment or two. Okay, and the analysis is done. It just took about a minute there. Now if we look at plot radco, here are the sloshing frequencies you'll see in surge and in sway, um, uh, pitch, roll, and yaw effects. So sway is probably the most important one because that's what's going to line up with the roll uh, uh, periods of the ship. So you can kind of see you know what frequency this is lining up with is that close to the um, the ship's natural frequency that's kind of roll natural frequency that's what you can kind of check and of course you want to make sure you have enough frequencies here that you know you're not missing any key information on the the, the sloshing effects here so the next step is in build ship um, you can add the uh, the slosh tank now um, you might be wondering um, hey, doesn't it matter where on the ship uh, the slosh tank is? Like, shouldn't that be part of the analysis? Well, the the, the point of what's happening here in uh, rad slosh tank is you're looking at the motions of the slosh tank itself um, and characterizing them, and then um, it's going to make uh, the, the ship motion, um, depending on where the tank is on the ship, is, is going to be factored into the forces that it applies on the ship. So in any case, um, here we have the station, so it's basically in the middle of the ship, um, and then the height of the baseline, uh, uh, height of the tank above the baseline, um, and then of course just make sure you're, you're, you've got the, the right um, slosh tank file that you're looking at there, and then we need to run this, 
um, to make sure that we've got all of the fun the features and functionality in the uh, the ship file. So now what you need to do is just go and do a seakeeping analysis. Um, so I think we've got uh, seakeep random already set up here. So we've got a seakeep random. Um, so you know just to really make sure you don't get tangled up on uh, what you're looking at, maybe we'll change the file name prefix to box slash tank and make sure that we're looking at a generic freight uh, box tank. Yep, that's the ship model that we just made in build ship. Um, and what we're going to be looking at is um, uh, short crested waves, you know, pretty, pretty significant sea state. Um, and this happens to be kind of close to the ship rule natural period. So we'll just run that. And it takes a moment. Okay, and if we look at plot motion RMS here, uh, the in zero speed sort of beam conditions here, we're getting you know maximum RMS roll of 4.5. Um, so you know what you really want to do is have an idea of like what is that you know compared with. Um, and if you you can open up the generic frigate project and make a comparison. Um, there's a little bit of a shortcut here though. Um, if we just rename this file prefix here, I don't want to overwrite the same results. Now I've copied the ship motion database uh, from the generic frigate. So you can just actually use this and make a really quick comparison. So everything else is the same. Run the analysis here as it only takes a moment. Plot motion RMS and we're at 6.04. So 4.5 to 6.04, um, you know, that's uh, that's on the order of 25% roll reduction. So that's pretty significant. Anyway, the main point of this was to show the functionality and workflow of setting up um, a, a tank. So obviously you could go back to um, change the tank dimensions, change the fill level, rerun the rad slosh tank analysis, uh, rerun build ship, and then see what the resulting effects are on the ship. Um, so yeah, so this is uh, just showing how to go about setting up the slosh tank and then evaluating the, the effects on ship motions in the Proteus DS Shipmo 3D toolset. Thanks for watching.